everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. Today, we got some fun in store because, well, as per usual, we got a little bit of revenge that we got to get on hopefully a raid that's way better than the last couple of raids. Because last couple of daily raids, eh, haven't been up to par, but my man playing 9315 will hopefully help us be able to turn that around. But first things first, we're making our way to the Bunker Alpha because I believe it's prime time. As you guys can tell from the tickets, to pop open a ton of stuff and get ourselves a red ticket crate. Hopefully, some C4 from that. And then, let's not forget, I believe we are due for a floppy disk on top of that. Also, some super fun stuff that we could go ahead and prepare for here. And uh, yeah, something that I'm definitely looking forward to. And hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely favorite fantastic day of the most amazing ride that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. Like I was saying, I don't know. I'm having a pretty good day over here because, uh, just in case you guys don't know, uh, the bunker code, of course. Let's not forget that we got nine two four double O should be the sequence of numbers to get you in. If that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the favorite fantastic community here at the Snipe Gang. But uh, I'm just having a good day because, well, today, as you guys know, is January 20th and it is also a Sunday star. Yes, we know how dates work. Okay, good, 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 good. Then you may be able to recall. Also, how close are we to this? Yeah, we're looking. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get that after a swift blind one kill. But what that means is that, as you guys may recall, the latest info that we've heard on the upcoming active skill mod update is actually slated. It's like rough time frame we were given, which again is subject to delays, was January 16th to January 20th. Okay, okay, star again. We got we got this info. All right, well, check it out. I'll just go ahead and apply this to a couple of things. Uh, well, we're kind of at the end of that time range and... I think it's a lot of signs are pointing towards a tomorrow release since we are at the end of that time range. We haven't heard any updated dates from them. So I think what it likely is is just they didn't want to release it on the weekend because a lot of times they are not available and the developers aren't in on the weekends because the weekends, as you guys know, are usually days for doing weekend type things. And let's freaking go. That's what I like to see. A little bit of that engine part action. We'll go ahead and make sure to bring that along back on home too. Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab it now. I don't want to accidentally forget that. And the chopper wheel which we will be able to trade in and a couple of guns we could go ahead and grab for ourselves we are not gonna have shotgun rain to take down the blind ones today but hey that should be okay nothing to worry about let's make our way did i activate the hold on did i activate it uh we'll see i totally forgot if i activated hard mode or not the goldfish memory may or may not be kicking in uh yeah this doesn't look red enough okay never mind we gotta go back to the first floor <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. But uh, yeah, what should we call? Whenever hard mode gets activated, you guys know that it gets quite ridiculously red. But back to what I was saying, with those active skill mods, at least from what we've seen out of Kafir in the past, they usually don't release weekend updates. So likely what it's coming to, especially since we haven't heard more out of them regarding a range for the active skill mods, which we know to be the next update from what we have heard from the cipher and whatnot. Let's just go ahead and activate this. But just kind of given all that collection of info, the things are shaping up for a potential tomorrow release for the active skill mod update. Let me just say, when that happens, we are definitely going to try to plot some kind of a huge opening or something because we need to get those active skill mods. Those are going to be mods that are going to be acquirable. And we're also going to need to build them as well. So I'm definitely kind of plotting. Hopefully something big we'll be able to do. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. And hopefully you guys are as well. But uh, let's go ahead and look forward to killing ourselves a little bit of this blind one over here. After taking out some of his lackeys. Trying to cloud the way. But uh, a couple of pistol drizzle bullets here or there. And they should be going down pretty easy peasy. And then we just got to make our way through, I think, two to three. Yeah, this, what is it? We got this room. Then we got a couple of toxic spitters. Like five more total after we take out these two dudes over here. And let's go and activate a little bit of sprints in too. But man, just the closer that we're getting, I'm just getting so freaking excited for those active skill mods, man, because, oh, I just, dude, I just can't wait, man. Whatever, I want to find out what the shotgun one is. That's a big one. But also the grenade launcher that we've seen for the AK. Oh, baby, there's just a lot of cool ones in store. Some of them, like, I, I don't I don't know, like, what the scopes are going to do. Like, I don't know if that's just going to give you, like, insane accuracy, maybe, like, a guaranteed critical shot. That's the best thing I could think of, but I actually love to hear from you guys uh, with the theme of active skill mods being oh so close. But I would absolutely love to hear from y'all what you would actually want to see some of these skill mods do, because as you guys know, we'll actually go ahead and when we make our way home from uh, this triumphant return over here. But as we make our way home, what we'll end up doing is uh, I'll actually go through some of the mods 
thoughts that they have currently and i'd love to you know maybe get your guys' thoughts on what some of them might do some of them obviously are pretty obvious like the under barrel grenade launcher there's about one thing that that could do that i could think of and it doesn't involve shooting potatoes out of it it involves shooting grenades but for some of the other stuff i'd love to hear maybe what you guys think what type of effect it is going to have and what it'll ultimately end up doing like for like some of the scopes or maybe some of like the laser attachments that type of stuff i would absolutely love to hear what you guys think regarding those and uh, at least for the shotgun dude i'm still holding out that it's gonna be like a flaming shotgun shot some black ops style shotgun rain Ooh, baby baby that would be a sight to behold if any of you guys ever played the original black ops not black ops 4 dude i'm talking black ops from like a decade ago i just remember this one super hype campaign mission and i loved it you know why because i'm a shotgun rain maniac as you might know but there was uh, one mission where you literally got dragon's breath shot to gun rain what does that mean? That means you got a shotgun that literally shot flaming bullets. It was the most glorious shotgun I've ever used in my shotgun rain filled life. And I need more, baby. I need more. So that's the big thing that I'm looking forward to. But go ahead and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below regarding some of them. And I'd absolutely love to hear. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's a week at 12. Dollar. I do such a place. Store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That will ensure you would on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as more and more continues coming out we are always keeping you guys in the latest of loops so whenever new info comes out about this active skill mod update and whatever else will be coming after it as well you guys will be the first to know i will ensure that y'all hear about it and not just that, the notification bell is also a great way of staying in the loop for when the updates themselves come out. Like this active skill mod update that we are on the edge of having. And I just, I need it, man. It is going to be so freaking glorious. So I'm looking forward to that. But as soon as that does come out, like I'm saying, we are going to end up messing around with it, showing off hopefully every single mod. Now this might get expensive, but YOLO, bro, if it helps show off dope things, I don't mind tossing some dollar dues at the game because if we got to do a ton of openings and dude, if it's, it's going to, it's gonna cost a lot of weapon parts too man uh, not weapon parts i should say but I, you guys know what i'm talking about like the different kind of like the, the things you got to contribute to build the active skill mods first and since they're pretty much going to be the best mods for each gun they are probably not going to be cheap so i'm going to do everything in my power to hopefully have some sort of shenanigans going on with that and when that update comes out man there's going to be a lot of active skill mods that we could hopefully go over and do it's just going to be so freaking dope having another active skill mod especially i do want to see if it ends up like replacing one of these corner mods that we have over there not corner mods but corner perks i should say are active skill perks left button and right button perks if those will like pop up over here like maybe a right button i, I don't know or if these will stick around and it'll just be like an additional button that pops up kind of similar to grim soul survival for any of y'all who may have played over there since i do believe they kind of have their version of skills or i i that wasn't an active skill mod though but what you call i think they like added in a button for a skill that you could press and i think it's like located right around here or something just kind of like close to the whole interface it's located right around there and all that you got to do is go ahead and tap on it but that wasn't for active skill mods that was just for their perk system in general so like you left the auto button and uh, the sneak button and then there's just like a third separate one for like for example the skills that we have here so you know maybe i can see that being something that they end up doing to kind of counteract that and just kind of i don't know man it makes sense like i, I think that's the two most likely places it's going to be and really mainly the two options that it could be let's just go ahead and toss all of these things in and bada bing bada boom baby hello mr floppy disk but before we go ahead and toss that into there we got a pit stop to make up and over here how are you doing mr red ticket crate oh let's freaking go the red ticket crate's doing good it's doing really good hello nice to meet you all of you wonderful guns definitely that fresh set of swat armor too since we weren't let's go in the military motorcycle blueprint we're like four blueprints away from maxing that thing out we're just making dope progress all throughout and copping ourselves some aluminium some of the air filters as well and 
I, I'll likely come back for the chopper wheels. I think that that's likely to happen. Then we'll just go ahead and stack up what we can because there's a couple of chopper wheels waiting us and we could trade those in at the gas station, which is definitely going to be a fun place. But uh, we're about to find a much funner place on the map, the floppy disk. Oh, it's getting floppy because we do need some C4 likely for today's raid. But I was unfortunately not able to secure more C4 in preparation for today's video. But no worries, lads and lassies, because uh, the floppy disk is pretty much guaranteed to be able to get you what you want. So we're going to go ahead and head on over there and cash in on that. And we might even need to make that pit stop along the way too. But like I'm saying, the notification bell, great way to stay up to date with the videos, especially about these new updates, such as the active skill mod update coming very, very soon. Because as soon as those are out and yep, we have a pit stop to make anyways to drop off our goods. And uh, whatchamacallit, we could also end up, oh, beautiful, almost back up to a full stack there. Uh, we could also end up empty out, emptying out our inventory and showing off some of those mods that I was talking about just a tad bit earlier. That I'm really interested to hear from you guys and like kind of start a discussion around. Like they might not, do they have names already? I don't know if they technically have names or not, or if they're only like named after you unlock them, but we have pictures of them. So hopefully you guys can kind of get the point across in the comments if you are dropping those below. But like I'm saying, as soon as that update does come out, we're going to be covering it. So make sure that that notification bell is hit and just stay in the loop with that. But uh, yeah, like for example, which one is this? Oh, dude, this one's going to be dope. But yeah, it doesn't like give you a name or anything. But as you guys could see, there's some of these over here, like the pistols, those got active skill mods and they all just appear to be scopes. Now the shotgun a bit different shotguns doing something with the barrel so i just have a feeling that's going to somehow affect the projectile like something flaming maybe uh the winchester that has the receiver so maybe it'll be like a super shot it'll fire or something and if we go over to the ak these are pretty self-explanatory bayonet for stabby mcstabs and a grenade launcher for boomy mcbooms and then over here we got i don't dude we got the bipod however that's gonna work we also got the atpial i believe it's called the scar over here we have uh, also a bipod and one of those like laser things yeah this, this was the atpial i don't know what to call it, bro the laser how about that this one m16's got a couple of scopes i the revolver could be interesting i i i really hope that the zip gun ends up being decent why did i call it a revolver well it's because i thought of this mod right here that actually improves the speed on the zip gun uh the bow and arrow that's obviously got that thing that changes the spear i just feel like you're gonna be able to throw the spear that that adds up quite a little bit we have that and oh mama we got a huge amount of melee weapons we've got that over there for that we got the machete over there with the blade we got so actually the cleaver doesn't have one neither does that but the sledgehammer oh chef you betcha the sledgehammer's got the chopper gas tank, lads. That's the one that I feel like might introduce some interesting things. Then the saw blade might give us the metal cutter, so definitely some interesting stuff to work with. But I gotta go ahead and put this stuff away and talk to y'all. In a sec. And let's just go ahead and actually make repairs over to here to ensure that the next time we get raided, the raiders have a little stuff over here that they could take from, and we could hopefully continue the benefit of those free revenge raids that we get pretty much on a daily basis. That's why you do want to make your way up to four skulls. It's pretty much, uh pretty much the best thing that you can do because when you don't pay for raids without a doubt the best type of raid that there is but that notification bell as well like i was saying is gonna be dope for keeping you in the loop because as soon as that update comes out we're gonna be covering the bejesus out of it every single thing that it comes with and we do that with every single update that comes out with the game regardless of how hard or potentially how many dollar dues we got to drop out of our wallet to be able to showcase at the end of the day i just want to hello mr airdrop i just want to make sure to go ahead and hopefully give you guys the best info and just kind of the best look at the updates so you could potentially see like oh should i go after should i maybe like build this mod for example and if we show it off we could showcase oh maybe it's not worth all that stuff that you got to put into it because like i'm saying they're all extremely rare mods i don't think that they're gonna end up being cheap whatever they do ends up doing but hopefully this one is also not a infected box hopefully it's a normal one because then i'd have to clear out my uh, acid bath the most unorganized thing in the world and i think it might actually end up being a normal box oh bless up baby uh, the normal box and the acid bath box or the infected box i should say they end up being pretty comparable in terms of loot Be the thing is that both of them at the end of the day ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, right there to c4 not to mention all them precious metals a little bit of engine parts electronic circuits another military motorcycle blueprint and the piece de resistance 
a scar to add to our scar stockpile because without a doubt it is at least in my experience i think the rarest gun i found in the game so far now I, at least the rarest in terms of how often it comes like drops i'm not counting the grenade launcher because that's I, that, that's more of a projectile launcher not technically a gun but you, you know what i'm going for you know what i'm going with but uh yes yeah, so we'll go ahead and make sure to return our way over there to uh get the rest of that jazz but we got a little bit of a drive to go on and make home and that notification bell like i was saying is gonna be a great way to stay in the loop with every single video y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well but uh we gotta go ahead and put this stuff away and we gotta get our inventory loaded up with the proper raiding materials because we've got a little bit of fun to be had today lads let's just go ahead and put the c4 away i know we also could have grabbed that stuff from the airdrop with uh what should we call our off-road bike but i just want to keep it empty because we are preparing for a raid and i don't want to accidentally leave something in there show up and be like oh that is still here what a problem we have come across so uh, i'm gonna go ahead put this stuff away and talk to y'all and it's like, and we are looking nice and prepared, boys and girls, for the challenges that are going to come. But first things first, let's go ahead and actually make some repairs over here, since we have kind of uh, suffered a little bit in the base fashion from all the zombies running into it and all the other things that we got over there. Let's go ahead and toss these things and fill in all the holes that we can. We do want to leave some wood in our inventory, though, and that should be good. I, I, we, you, we just want to make sure that, for the most part, nothing is too exposed in terms terms of stone especially over here so this is always priority number one making sure that that is as nice as possiblemente but hokey dokey let's get these level one hatchets off and popping and i believe for this raid that we're doing at least from the research that i did into the raid i this should be enough hatchets for what we're trying to do but i'm also gonna go ahead and get some iron hatchets oh no we are looking truly gucci mcswagons with pretty much what should be enough hatchets for anything that the game could realistically toss at us if we need to use more hatches than what we have right now i i at that point man i don't know i don't know because i think we will just have made way too much noise and the big one will be feasting on our corpse by then but with all of our silenced weapons ready to go this pistol's about to break so i'm just bringing two backups actually uh because usually if you do a raid and you try to take out all the zombies at least with our current pistol setup it tends to take a little like close to a pistol and a half so I just kind of wanted to bring the one that's almost broke so we could just get some usage out of that. Ugh. Excuse my tongue being twisted. So we can get some usage out of that. And, ooh, Mr. Dealer, I am sorry. I'm going to be a hard pass. I got priorities today, monsieur. But, uh, yeah, man. Hopefully this base is kind to us because I want loot already. I am a thirsty lad, and loot is the only hydration that I will accept. So, all right, 9315, dude. I wish everyone had a name or something, you know, instead of just being player 9-3 or whatever bunch of numbers that they want to be. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, no. You can't, oh, oh, is this, oh, that probably just wants me to chop down the tree. God dang it. I was going to say, is this, I think I'm, I'm not chopping into the wall right now. I think I'm breaking something on the other side. I don't think we can get into there i i'll do it though i'll do it for the vine here but yeah we just ended up breaking god dang it so it does appear that it is pretty much entirely a metal base and there is one chest to its name uh are you kidding me right now this is the entire raid have we actually just gotten the worst raid in last day on earth history I'm not going to talk trash yet. This this thing might be decent, but at least we didn't have to break a stone wall, I guess, to open that chest. Just got to go ahead and break down, if I can, some of these things before they stab me to death. Looking all spiky and stuff. Uh, bruh. I could go this way, right? Okay, good. I was about to be like, are you kidding me? I can't get past that. I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a pickaxe game. I'm sorry. I didn't come prepared. Is this a trunk at least? So it looks like it might be promising. Uh, looks can be deceiving. We have actually just completed the worst raid I think last day on Earth has ever had. Oh, hello. Thank God I didn't miss that. That was, I think, the M16 I put up for bait. Uh, yeah, though, I, th I believe we have just completed the single worst raid in last day on Earth history. I am actually a little bit shocked right now, guys. I didn't think that this would be possible. Is that really all that we got? 
Uh... So I'm kind of in disbelief right now. Because that is hot trash. That is the hottest of trash. Are you ki Like, is there something in here? No? This is it? That's all I get? Oh, all right, well... I guess we didn't need to shoot any zombies. You know what? I, I guess... It was a revenge raid, so at least it was that. At least we didn't go out of our way to raid this. And technically speaking, this is the perfect type of a base where maybe if you had just some very valuable stuff stolen from you, honestly, having that base would be pretty nice because you're pretty much guaranteed to get that stuff back. I, 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 there's one chest. You're not going to have the issue of the big one chasing you out of there with one chest, but we're going to have the issue of not walking out of there with enough loot, which is actually rather heartbreaking. Well then, my heart is in pain. It's in a lot of pain, but with that said, with that done, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys have an absolutely fan freaking whoop, 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 whoop. Let's get out of there. Fan freaking fantastic rest of your day slash night filled with some of the best loot possible for those of y'all continuing and hopping into Last Day on Earth, or maybe if you're doing some stuff IRL. Hopefully, you guys have a super fun time with that and whatever might be going on, and hopefully, it just keeps on getting better from here on out because, uh, well, I, I got to go and do something better because that raid... I can't believe that that actually just happened. That is redonkulous, dude. But uh, best of luck to you guys and gals. Again, the Chopper guys, thank you and join the Chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills, not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you, and getting past the multiplayer wall. Head of most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to the next one. See ya.